Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I am a part-time reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, but I love to just in general find undervalued goods at places like thrift stores and flip them for profit. Some of the items that I don't resell online myself, I send to places like The Real Real in hopes that they will sell them for me and I will get the money. So today I'm actually gonna show you guys what I'm sending to The Real Real. It is January, 2022, so this is what I'm sending in as of January, 2022. So if you love reseller content and if you like content like this, do consider subscribing to my channel. I've been putting out videos four to five times a week ish depending on what I have to share with you guys and I do like to send a box of stuff to the real real every single month if I have enough to send to them so uh, if you want to see what I send them every month I will show you guys here on this channel back in November of 2021 they did pay change their payout structure to um, only give 30% commission on items that they price $95 or below. So I'm trying to be a little bit more selective on what I send to them, just because 30% on something that they're not even pricing at $95, my payout is very minimal. And, um, you know, by the time you talk, you add in this, the cost of goods, it's not necessarily even worth sending anymore. So I have a small little pile here of what's going into them. I'm hoping that this stuff goes over $95, but I guess we'll see. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys are these shoes, and these are my fa one of my favorite brands to send to them, Stuart Weitzman. Um, this brand, when I try to sell it myself on like Poshmark or eBay, it just sits, and it doesn't sell for a ton. Um, but when I send it to the real real, they sell pretty quickly, and I usually you know, get a decent amount for them. So. These are Stuart Weitzman. They're a little bit dated. Well, actually, they're a lot dated. Um, but these I picked up for only $3. Um, they were at Goodwill, and they were half off on half off day, half off tag day. So I'll go ahead and send those in. And then these are so fun. These are a little bit older of a style, too. But check these out. I love the little, the little tassels on these. They're also Stuart Weitzman. I think these were $6. Um, but I think they're fun. They're super fun and small size, I think, a size six, but it doesn't really seem to matter with Stuart Weitzman. It sells regardless. Um, and then one more pair of shoes. I guess we have a pointy toe theme this time around. Um, these I actually uh, hauled, I think, a month or so ago, and I did list these on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari, but... Um, at the time, I didn't know that I was going to be able to send them anything else this month, so I decided to just list them, but now that I found a bunch of other stuff, I am going to send them in. So these are in good condition. Uh, actually, if they've got this paper in them, I thrifted them that way, so they're not brand new, but they are really well taken care of. Um, so those were $6 as well. Those might have been $7 because they're boots, but we'll see. They're a nice um, suede fabric. I feel like everything I've got today kind of matches. I could make outfits with this stuff. Um, so here is another one of my favorite brands to send to them, Lafayette 148. Um, I have not been sending them like basics, like shirts or, I did send them a couple pair of pants last month just because I sourced them before the change was made. So I figured I would just send them in anyway. Um, but because this is a jacket and it's a really classic kind of style and color, I'm gonna send this in. I didn't pay more than $6 for this at Goodwill. What else do we have here? This is a men's sport coat. Oh, okay. I'm really interested to see what happens with this. First of all, I hope they accept it. Second of all, um, comps on like eBay for this were all over the place. So I'm very interested to see how they price it. It is a very nice men's black wool sport coat or like suit jacket. I don't know what, what's the difference between sport coat or suit jacket, but check out the brand. Pierre Balmain. First time I've ever found this brand. Um, you know, some of them were selling for $30, $40 on eBay, and there were other versions of like men's sports coats that were selling for over $1,000. And I don't 
I couldn't distinguish what the difference was between the lower end ones and the higher end ones. And I really couldn't figure out where this one fell in that spectrum. So I am going to send it in and kind of see what they do with it. Hopefully I've got one of the better ones. Um, I did get that from Goodwill. So my hopes are not super high, but even if it is a $200 blazer, that's still more than the $8 I paid for it. Do you guys know anything about this jacket? Do you think it's worth a lot of money? I don't know. Should I like try to list this myself? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Then I have this nice wool cardigan. Um, this is Pierre Car Cardin. Cardin. And again, this brand, I don't sell myself, but uh, the real real seems to, to move it pretty quickly. Uh, this, and even just looking at it, this is obviously an older style, potentially vintage, I guess, uh, but it is new with tags. It's a very nice, it's 100% wool. So, you know, fabric wise, it's great quality and it's just, it's flawless in condition. There's a couple fuzzies on it, but like otherwise, this is beautiful. I did pick up, what is this, uh, Max Mara. So I only found Max Mara one other time and I sent it to the Real Real and it sold within a couple days. These are trousers. So I don't know how trousers are doing these days, but I got these for only $3 at Goodwill. Um, the only thing about these is that I could not find a size tag, but the Real Real is pretty good about still accepting and listing things without a size. They will list just based on measurements. Another one of my faves to send in, Sandro Sportswear. I don't know why um, Sandro tends to be very hit or miss. I can get a piece that they'll price at $200 and then I'll get another piece they'll price at $50. And again, I'm not super good at figuring out how to distinguish which piece is which. Uh, I'm hopefully getting better at that, uh, something I'm working on. Um, but again, I only probably paid $7 for this, so we'll give it a try. It's a really nice kind of classic. Um, the sleeves are like a three-quarter sleeve maybe, so I thought it would be a good like transition winter into spring kind of piece. And last up for today, another Sandro piece. This one's got polka dots, and I just love polka dots. But this is just another blazer suit jacket thing for women. Uh, this one's a size large, nice classic black and white polka dots. All right, guys, so that's everything I'm sending into them today. Um, again, if you wanna check out my video on how I use the Real Real, I will link it up above. Um, lately, I've had a concierge person actually come to my house, pick it up and ship it in for me. So all I have to do is be here, which I work from home, so I'm here anyway and I just send it in and they do all the rest of the work. So yeah, um, I am saving up. So I've saved all my credits that I get from things that I sell and I'm saving up for a nice, uh, probably Louis Vuitton bag. Um, once I have enough credits, I'll start shopping, but uh, that's kind of what I do with the Real Real. They do have an option to cash out and get cash, but you get a little bit of an extra if you take it in site credit. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Certainly subscribe to my channel if you like content like this. I've been putting out videos about three, four, five times a week, and I do a video about what I send to the Real Real every single month. So definitely tune in if you wanna see the next one. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.